Hello guys, welcome to TechOzai. In the last lecture, we saw about connecting with MongoDB using Mongo's library. If you missed the video, the link is available on the description. Also, you can find Node.js tutorial link on the description. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Before we head to the next lecture, we will see about some basic concepts of JavaScript. Today, we will see about let, const and the arrow functions. Let's begin. Alright, I already created the type.js file to check the functionalities of let const and the error functions. Uh, in the previous versions of uh, JavaScript, uh, we use the var keyword to declare the variables. But in the newer versions of the JavaScript, uh, we used a let and const. What is the difference between let and const? When you use the let, which means the value can be changed anytime. For example, let username equal to tech design. Username equal to developer console dot log of username. When you run the code, node type dot js. See, you can see the value developer, which means the user value is changed. Now, when you change this let to const. And uh, check the output here you are getting the error because when you are using the constant variable which means the value will not change at any time so when you remove this one you are getting tech in here so the difference between let and constants when you are using the let the value can be changed anytime when you're using the const which means the value is constant and cannot be changed anytime so let's move to the error functions now. Let's create all that code here. In the previous versions of uh, JavaScript, you use the function like this function user of uh, I'm going to declare two arguments username, comma, password, and uh, return user is plus username plus and and the password is plus password okay and console dot log of user of uh, tech design and the password is one two three four Okay, I'm going to run the output node type dot js. You can see the output here using is tech and the password is one two three four. In the previous versions, you use the function like this. In the newer versions of JavaScript, these functions can be more simplified, and we have the other benefits also. For example, we can create here const user equal to just remove this keyword function and the user here and use the arrows here this is this is called the arrow function here so uh, this function can be used when uh, the purpose of this function and there are many benefits and the, one of the benefits is we can use the uh, keyword this this keyword can be used inside the objects uh, i'm going to uh, show that uh, this keyword in the next lectures uh, now we are going to run the output here no type dot js and you can see the same output here user is take user and the password is 1234 i'm going to show you how to make it more simplified for example when you're using the uh, other kind of functions like addition separation multiplication here i'm going to use the const add equal to i'm going to declare two arguments here a comma b and the error function here uh, return a plus b okay console.logger add share into phi comma phi okay so you can see the output in here so how can we uh, how can we make it more simplified i'm going to uh, remove this return here and Parenthesis here. That's it. So this function is more simplified here. I'm going to run the function here. See, you get the same output. 
So uh, I'm going to create another function which can be when you are using the single argument here. So add uh, subtraction of a uh, as a single uh, argument here a minus 1. I'm going to give the value here 5 and change it to sub. So what is 5 minus 1? It, will be, it should be 4. So you get the value 4. I hope you understand the let constant the arrow functions. Uh, in the next lectures, I'm going to uh, show you the more basics about uh, Node.js and uh, JavaScript. Um, if you like the course, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.